Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your favorite boxes ambassador Zuljin here to bring you another chapter in this ultimate guide series for everything there is to know about Voxy Tactics. Today we're going to be taking a look at the marketplace and the Arcanist Forge. Now these two places are going to be your go-to's to get equipment and get set up to make sure that you can compete in Extreme Arena. Most of the Voxies that you'll rent or buy have their own equipment, but to really make them strong and really make them synergize, what you'll need to do is give them the best possible equipment. Now, we looked at how to identify what Voxies can use what equipment, and to take a further look into some of that, we can use this new feature called the library. The library lets you analyze any item in the entire ecosystem right so you can take a look at any one of the pieces of armor or any one of the pieces of weapons or any one of the weapons i should say to get an idea of what their stats are that way when you go to the rental markets or the buying market you can plan on what you need if you're looking for a specific piece of armor or a specific accessory for instance that protects you against a certain element then you'll want to come to the library and make sure that everything checks out and you can piece together your build using undeep's tool and all this great stuff so the library shows a ton of different things and it's searchable and you have filters just like you can see right above my head here you can go to any of the things if you're looking for a specific weapon type like two-handed bows then you'll look into all of the different two-handed bows that you have here you can sort them by rarity as well if I go down to rarity or up to rarity and let's say I'm looking for legendary here's all the legendary bows these are some of the stone bows I've been dying to get my hands on one of these for a little while for one of my druids Anyway, I digress. If you take a look at the library and you find some stuff that you want to buy or rent, you'll want to start looking in the marketplace for that. And you'll also want to start looking for components that you might need to actually empower these things in the Arcanist Forge. And I'll explain what that means. See, all of these bows, for instance, are all legendary weapons, okay? But if you look at these these are all compound bows and these are stone bows like i mentioned before stone bows are something that i've been looking for right if you go to epic and you take off legendary you'll see that there's a stone bow that's an epic flavor right here as well as a compound bow that's also epic if you take a look at the entry of the library you'll see that its element is physical now Physical elements allow you to do something in the forge that gives them the ability to upgrade to legendary status, increasing their damage and giving them an element. And I will show you a little bit about how that works. I have done some dedicated videos on the forges, but just to say, let's say that we're looking for a compound bow today and we want to start searching in the rental markets for our ranger or our druid, okay? So the first thing that we'll do is we're going to go to shop, okay? And from here, you can see all of the different things that are available to buy in the markets. You can sort, sort them just like we were before. So we're going to look at rarity. We want either epic or legendary. And then for our items. Oh, I just put that for Voxy. My bad. We'll, we'll want to uncheck that. And then we'll, for, we'll, we'll scroll up a little bit here. And then we'll look at rarity. Okay. Epic then legendary okay and then we go to type and then we scroll down to bow or weapon and then two-handed bow just like we had before that's going to be right above my head and now you can see everything that's available in the bows you can filter this out further by hiding boxies or any special pets or anything like that but you can see now to buy there's a kiss of death which is an epic bow it's not what we're looking for there's also a glacial bow now the difference between these two you can click on them you can go to instant buy or make an offer okay this means if you have a certain budget that you want to spend based on what you what's available and what you want you can make an offer on this if i click on this for instance it's going to ask you to sign into your MetaMask wallet, and uh, that way you can make purchases or make offers and stuff. And if I wanted to 
make an offer of this for 150 voxel tokens, okay? You can go to make offer here and then you put your amount. Now you have to have your qualifying balance here. So if I hit 100 voxel here, and uh, I'll tell you what, just in case it goes through, um, I have a bow like this, so I don't need it. I'll put 25 voxel because I'm pretty sure I can resell it for that if they end up accepting the offer. You can say how long the listing is. You click submit. It's going to prompt you to accept the request in your MetaMask wallet, and then you successfully made the offer. Now, you can see that the offer right here is 25 voxel. Okay, that means if they accept it, 25 voxel is gonna go into their wallet and this Kiss of Death bow is going to be mine. It's gonna get added to my collection. And I'll be able to use it from there. If I hit instant buy or purchase here, it's going to ask me to pay the full amount of voxel and as soon as I do that, the smart contract is going to send that voxel tokens over to them and the bow is going to go in my wallet, just like if they accepted an offer. Now, rental is kind of the same thing, okay? And plus, you can cancel an offer if you don't want to, if you change your mind or whatever, you can always cancel it. There may be a little fee depending on if you have, um, the, depending on how you have your settings set up. But as soon as the offer is canceled, now no, your offer is no longer valid if they decide to change their mind or, or accept your offer, it won't be valid and they won't do it. Anyway, let's go to rentals now. Same thing applies here. You click rentals instead of shop and you have the same setup. It looks like the library or the shop tab, but instead these are all assets for rental. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and zoom in a little bit and we're gonna see if we can find that stone bow for rent, okay? So how do we do that? Well, it's the same thing as the library or the shopping area. We can filter stuff, okay? So we're going to go to rarity and we're gonna select either legendary or epic, okay? These are the two that we can find. The stone bows only come in those uh, different rarities, okay? Now, we're gonna click type, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit weapon, and then we're gonna hit two-handed bow. So, we can look at all the bows that are gonna be available here, but right now, it's showing us all the voxies and stuff too. So let's go to the top and we'll go type of product and we'll turn voxies off. We'll also turn pets off. Now, all we have left is bows, and it does show a little bit of voxies because the bundles actually have bows in them. But lo and behold, there is a stone bow, okay? There might be a legendary stone bow too. We can either filter those out or we can look specifically for it. And you'll see that we have a legendary and an epic stone bow, okay? So let me zoom in a little bit and you'll see the price difference. You can click on the actual listing or you can just see right here, it has 6.88 voxel for seven days, all right? Now let's scroll down to the other one. This stone bow is 2% and no specific um, upfront fee, okay? So if you rented this stone bow instead of the other one, for instance, it wouldn't cost you anything upfront but all of your winnings, 2% of all of your winnings would go to this owner, okay? And you would get 98% of the rest unless you had other things that also cost percentage. Here is a legendary, and you can tell that by the orange border, but you can rent this one for 20 voxel a day. So it really all depends on what your budget is, how your team's set up, and what you rather, okay? Because you may have a common druid, okay? Or a common ranger, and you're going for this stone bow here, and you're saying to yourself, man, the common doesn't earn a whole lot of voxel tokens. So if I were to rent this, I would have to make 20 voxel tokens before I can even start profiting for this. That means you have to win 20 voxel tokens before the bow is paid off. You know, what if you're renting the druid and renting other stuff too, you know? There's a bunch of different things to consider. You can also build your team around percents and see what that is. And you can weigh the cost of different items and comps to make it to where you're actually being able to earn some voxel in the arena so they can use them to rent or upgrade your characters, buy new assets, or even use them in infusion, okay? so. We've covered the voxel token last video, talked about what we would be able to do with them, like renting and buying and rewards mechanism and all that other stuff. Now it's time to look at the actual functionality of the voxel token, and it's in something called the Arcanist Forge, okay? So 
There's a bunch of different things that you get in the arena, in Extreme Arena, and most of it is the voxel tokens and NFTs. When you earn NFTs, you'll have them, you can look at them in your collection, and they'll appear in this forge if there's any recipes that they qualify for, okay? Remember how I told you all the difference between the stone bow for the epic and the legendary, okay? You can actually take that epic stone bow and upgrade it to a legendary. Now you can't do this on rentals, it has to be your items, okay? But I'll show you how this works. So let's take for instance, this deal, this dark steel hauberk, okay? This is a an epic chest plate, all right? Right now it says there's a forging summary and this is for infusion. So if I click this dark steel hauberk, okay? It's going to show me that in order to infuse this, I need one item, three essences and one crystal, okay? So I would click on essences and it would show me all of the qualifying essences that I have in my inventory, okay? Here's an energy essence, three of three. I can click that and then it's gonna prompt me for a crystal. Now, it's gonna tell me that I need a legendary crystal, which I do not have, all right? Let's go to a rare item instead. I do have this Spartan armor, so maybe I can, I can uh, infuse the Spartan armor, okay? So the Spartan armor, I can click, this is a rare, it's not an epic, so this is going to upgrade to an epic. An epic would upgrade to a legendary. This rare can be upgraded using almost only two essences, okay? So let's click this energy essence again, all right? And it's only gonna take two of the three that I have. And then it tells me that I need an epic crystal, which I have two available. And the outcome is gonna populate here and it's gonna tell me I get a Spartan armor of the storm. Okay, and it's gonna cost me a hundred voxel tokens in addition to my base item, the energy essences and the crystal, okay? So it's going to burn this piece of armor, two of my three essences that I have and one of the two crystals that I have and it's going to put this in my backpack or my inventory it's gonna it's gonna airdrop it to me okay then it'll be mine the the other nfts go to the arcanist forge account which is kind of like burning them and this is going to be in my inventory the smart contract takes care of everything now you say to yourself is it worth using all these essences and stuff i don't know maybe it is let's take a look we can go to the library here okay i'll just click library and then we'll go to it. Let's look at Spartan armor. Let's see how it, it stacks up, right? So we're gonna go to type. We're gonna hit armor, heavy. And we'll take armor slot is going to be body, okay? And now the Spartan armors are gonna be available to see, okay? Now, we can look at the Hallbergs that we were looking at earlier too, but really and truly what we wanna look at is Spartan. So here's the Spartan armor, the rare, which is the physical item. And here is the Spartan armor of the storm, which is the one that we could be infusing. Now, this is how you value that whether or not this is gonna be good for you, okay? You look at the Spartan armor and you see, okay, this one gives some luck, it gives some strength, some armor, some dexterity, some health. Health is a very, very important asset as well as the well, attribute, as well as what type of element it is. Now, this is actually an earth element, all right? So you say to yourself, well, if I infuse this into a lightning element, what's it gonna do? Well, it's going to upgrade the element for one, and it's also going to change the stats on it. You'll see now that this is actually a 30 health instead of 20. It also gives magic points here, which the other one does not have. So it's going to change the element. It's going to upgrade the tier from a rare to an epic, and it's going to give you some additional stats in some cases, but you always wanna compare what there are. There's a ton of different recipes in the forge as well. There's other stuff, like there's some special recipes that are around events, like this recent event that we've been having to get a snow crystal that was part of the Winterfest event, or there's things like identifying items. If you find an unidentified item in your travels or your, or your battles, we you can do is identify it here for the cost of 25 and you can see i could look at all the rewards what's possible the rare percentage the epic percentage and the legendary percentage these are the percentages of the rewards i'll get i'm going to zoom into that if we scroll down a little bit more you'll see that there's actually re-rolls too so those epic items and stuff man i got these axes. i got so many axes all i really want is a stone bow i want a stone bow for my druid how do i do that well 
you can actually swap out items. You can swap out epic items and you can get a chance to get a random, another random item that could be a stone bow. It could be a lot of other things as well, but what you could do is reroll these. Now, it's gonna take 80 tokens from you and it's going to burn the item that you put in here. Okay, when you click forge, it's going to take these away from you. It's gonna take you 80 voxel and it's taking the item and it's going to airdrop you a random epic item in your inventory. Might not be the one you want, might be something great, might not be something great, but all in all, it is the ability to do that. Sometimes people get legendaries and they wanna re-roll them into other stuff. And some people can get some very, very good items. My buddy Stubb does a really, really good job when he starts uh, re-rolling items, right? And I've re-rolled into some absolute killers. I'm gonna leave some videos links in the description for you guys to check out my other infusion videos, but I did a lot, a bunch of different infusions, recipes, all sorts of things, and it'll give you an idea of what to expect. Um, or you can go to legendary item swap and there's different fees that are associated to this. So um, maybe maybe I wanna get rid of this bone sword because I don't have anybody that'll use it and I wanna try to get a legendary bow or something. You know, Here's an option for that. There's also a bunch of different legendary and smelt rare and epic recipes that you can do like these for instance okay so here we go rare item smelting okay so this is going to take 10 items to fill all right and it's also going to cost you 10 voxel and it says right here in the top right corner you need 10 more okay so what we can do is click to see what the rewards are and you'll see an 80 percent chance to get an epic item a 15.9 percent chance to get a translucent necklace you might say what is that well we can go to the library and find out <laughs> you know that's the cool thing about it you can go to the library and go to the necklaces and stuff we can unselect these types and go to we can go to other and click accessory and then we can start looking at what these translucent necklaces might be okay and all of the and it's right here this translucent trinket okay and when we click that it'll show you that this is an accessory item that gives you 10 health 10 magic and 10 armor okay so but there's also some recipes that you can use this for other than that but just to say it's a chance to get that so that's what the library is used for when in that manner but what you could do here is you can click any of these rare items to populate these 10 items okay so I'm just gonna click random ones even those Spartan braces that we had looked at all right now, I'm not gonna infuse anything today because I've already done plenty of videos on that and I'm collecting my rares right now but if you click forge it will burn all of these items okay so now Never forge anything that you don't want to because it's going to take it away from you permanently and it's going to give you a chance to get one of these all right any of these it's going to an 80 percent chance you'll get an epic item you might get uh, an elemental necklace or a translucent necklace okay you could even get a legendary weapon set and a movement set and i've done that before let me tell you when you burn 10 rare items and you get a legendary item set you you feel on top of the world man because that is like jackpot right there's only there's only three types of those and they're all very very strong so it's just to say there's a lot of different utility that you can get in the arcanist forge and all this time you're working on trying to equip that druid you're trying to get a stone bow but but you can also sell these items in the market or you can also rent these items out in the market save up and see if you can buy a stone bow you can even look in the community and see if that you can do uh, trade with them or if anybody's selling a stone bow maybe you can make an offer on one there's a ton of different things you could do but all you got to do now is focus on what makes your builds better and try to accumulate those items. You know, you can reroll the items that you don't want, or you can sell them and try to get items that you do want. And you can upgrade them with the stuff that you've been finding through the Arcanist Forge. I hope this made a lot of sense for you. I know we cover a lot of stuff today, but if you check my video description, you'll see that I'll leave some links so that you can look at all of the other infusion videos that I've done and give yourself an idea about the different types of things that you can get from these infusions. Now, recipes will change over time, like these limited item, these limited event items, you know, the snow crystal stuff, this isn't gonna last forever, okay? So every once in a while when they have something like this, if you want some of those items that are rewards, you'll have a limited time to be able to check it. Guys, I hope you all have very much enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Ujin signing off, and we'll see you next time.